All right, we're back now with more on the coronavirus emergency and one of the big questions concerning Americans this morning. Many airlines are canceling flights to countries with outbreaks or offering waivers. But if you're traveling, what can you do to keep your family safe? Gio Benitez joins us now from LaGuardia Airport here in New York. Good morning, Gio. Hey, Cecilia, good morning. Yeah, this could cost airlines around the world nearly $30 billion, a massive amount of money. But this morning, we're looking at what this outbreak could cost you. As more and more confirmed cases of coronavirus emerge across the globe, this morning, growing questions about how to protect yourself while traveling. First, the cost of canceling. Megan Lloyd, who has an autoimmune disorder and is more susceptible to picking up illnesses, is worried about an upcoming trip she has booked to Las Vegas with her boyfriend, Ryan. At the time that we booked the flights to Las Vegas, um, we didn't really think about buying insurance. If we do travel to Las Vegas, then we're just going to be taking extra measures to make sure that we protect ourselves from any kind of pathogen, whether it's the coronavirus or the flu. Canceling a trip can cost you big bucks, even if you have travel insurance. That's because even the most expensive policy tends to cover a percentage of the trip, not the whole thing. The fear of the coronavirus is not covered. The uh, notion that I'm afraid to go on my trip uh, that's not something that's insurable, and travel insurance doesn't cover that. Then there's the health risks. So many now sharing the CDC's meme with that key advice, keep calm and wash your hands. But there's more to it. Medical professionals say coronavirus has so far shown similar transmission patterns to the flu. In 2018, Dr. Nick Testa, chief medical officer at Dignity Health in L.A., took us on a fake plane to show us how to stay healthy when flying during flu season. On an airplane, you have almost a 100 time increase from contracting a respiratory illness. A plane flying a typical New York to Washington, D.C. route makes about five flights per day. So that means at least four strangers could be touching your tray table, shade, armrest and air vent every day. And air on board is circulated from ceiling to floor, filtered every two minutes. If a flu carrier sneezes, watch this simulation done for popular science. Those passengers immediately around the sneezer are most at risk but your risk is lower if you're seated farther away. So at the end of the day, just keep an eye on your travel destination. If they don't have any cases there, then you're probably fine to go on your trip. But if you're concerned, go ahead and call your airline, call your hotel. You'll be surprised. Sometimes they can make some exceptions. Guys, back to you. Okay, Gio, thanks. And we're going to break this down with Dr. Jen, who is back to answer, answer social media questions about this. Okay, this is a big one. Spring yeah. break is coming up. A lot of people want to know. Here's the first question. Should anyone planning to travel out of state during spring break be concerned? So you say? Cecilia, no one has a crystal ball here, and I try to stay in my lane. I'm a doctor, not a travel consultant, but <laughs> we don't know what this is going to look like in two weeks, in two months, in six months. It depends also on where you're going, what you'll be doing there and your risk tolerance. So we're not just talking about the small risk or even a larger risk of getting sick. We're talking about the possibility for a major disruption if you're traveling internationally, potentially because of these disruptions, which change day to day, not being allowed back in the country or not being allowed out of that country. So we just don't know. Well, a lot to think about right there. Teresa White on Instagram, is washing your hands really enough? What else can we do? George, I know it's not sexy to <laughs> sit here, wash your hands, but it's very low risk and it has a very high benefit. So it's incredibly important, hand hygiene. We also obviously remind people not to touch their mouth and face, cough into their elbow, stay home if you're sick and avoid contact with people you know are sick. That means if your spouse or partner is sick, don't sleep in the same bed. Mm. Wow, that's a lot, a lot <laughs> oh, to... No, I mean, there's a... Well, okay, yeah. last question here. Oh, <laughs> should I be nervous receiving packages from China? You said you are getting this question I'm getting tons of this question, TJ. Right now, it's unclear how long these fomites or particles might survive on hard or dry surfaces. We don't know, but there is no evidence that it can be passed yet from packages or anything coming overseas. Can and I just for the record, I haven't canceled any Should, should we yet. stop shaking hands or not? Well, I did this week, but not because of coronavirus, because of influenza. Oh, so good. again, you know, we have to put this into the proper medical context. All right. Good. You're going to be answering more questions on Facebook Live after GMA. So you can also watch Dr. Ashton on The View later yes. today. Lots of questions for you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here. 
to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.